For the very of time, we come to you live from the Aftershock Asylum. This is Aftershock episode 30. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Hit Kid Worldwide and the road to Endgame continues here tonight, here in Newcastle upon Tide, England. We continue the road to Endgame with a stacked, stacked night. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, a huge bill. We have a Bellatrix Tag Team title boat coming out of Absolution when Candy Kane and Hitgo will challenge the cold blooded killers of Medusa Gorgon and Giganta. And we have a huge double main event this evening. Main event number one, a no holds bad war between Hunk and that fucker Crozer. And main event number two, made by Nalia to pure revenge. Isaac Frost, Spike Spiegel get it on tonight. We open after Sean Fernie though, with a big spot in the Infinity Six, set to be decided. It's time for an Infinity Six qualifier. And we start with the scab artist leader of the shed. Let's send him to Jim and Daniels for your opening contest of the evening. Take it, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest here on Aftershock 30 is an Infinity 6 qualification match set for one ball. Introducing first, fighting out of each group, he is the scum artist, Eddie. Great old fishing for Eddie from the Aftershock Asylum crowd. Eddie, who has really stepped up this this year, has us the shed with the tag team title reign. Eddie looking for some, some single success. Tonight he looks to get in the Infinity Six match. As we know so far, Blade, Rampage Jackson, Rio Hasuki and Raimondo Panarosa are all currently in the Infinity Six. This is spot number five, set to be decided here on Aftershock 30. Great ovation for the Scam Artist. And you can see Eddie, he is ready for war. The question is, who's going to fight? We know about these Infinity Six qualifiers. They're all randomized. So Eddie ready. He wants to earn his way in. Who is going to be his opponent? Oh man. How about a former Genesis champion? And a return for the son of the man who will break you. This is going to be a war to open up after shot 30. There he is. Eddie draws Victor Drago in this Infinity Six qualification boat. Brace yourselves! Go! On. Back to Jim and Daniels. His opponent fights out of Moscow, Russia. He is the son of the man who will break you, Victor Drago. Well, a way to open up Aftershock episode 30. Victor Drago and Eddie set to get it on. Need a brace again right now. Oh! What a way to open up Aftershock episode 30. Victor Drago and Eddie set to get it on. See Eddie in the ring and you see Victor Drago right there ready to go. It should be one hell of a fight to open our night. Eddie and Drago set to go it on as you saw during the midweek we also had some web matches make sure you go and watch them we had them and you also heard Nalys announcement which has led to our other main event this evening Isaac Frost versus Spike Spiegel tonight in her aftershock main event absolutely huge let's kick our night off right Eddie Victor Drago Infinity 6 qualification by AJ Monaghan rings the bell. We are underway here on Aftershock 30. Eddie with some straight rights. Chop his walk right hand from Drago. Drago with a heart punch sending Eddie down. Heart punch lands and now Drago vertical suplex. Plants Eddie. Whoa, well, way to kick off Aftershock 30. Drago sends Eddie off the ropes. Oh, rebound crossbody. Down goes Eddie, landing in the heat. And the elbow driven into the head. Early control here from Victor. Try to hook Eddie now, Hamelock. Eddie finds the back elbow, very nice. Bullseye sends Drago down. Dragging Victor now, 
And straight right onto you from Eddie right on the head. Eddie sends Drago back into a knee. Very nicely placed. Right hand to the back. Eddie now going to send Drago off the turnbuckle. Oh, a big shot right there. Coming shot right to the chest. Eddie now with shotgun knees driving Drago into the turnbuckles. And now biting at the hands. Ah! And fingers even. Nasty. Headbutt. That hurts like hell. Russian leg sweep. And down goes Drago. In the corner. Oh! Nice shot right there to the chest. Northern Lariat. Drago down after the Northern Lariat. And he into a cover. One, two, 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 two. Oh, coming shot. Oh, two coming shots. Drago fights back. Body shot. Two. And a big close on knocking Eddie down. One, two, two count. Oh, there's some stumps. And an elbow right to the chest. Dragon now lifting Eddie up. Running power slam. Luckily for Eddie, his rope, foot was near that rope. Oh, Drago missed the kick. Eddie able to get behind him, belly back, suplex. Eddie now to the middle. Flies with a knee drop, perfectly hit. Perfectly hit, knee drop off the middle. One, two, and no, almost. Two count for Eddie off the knee. Eddie looking to hook Drago. Drago will push Eddie off. Drago now with a bit of power here. Samoan drop maybe. Oh no, into the ropes. Just simply into the ropes. Big right hand. Drago for Nelson Slam. Yes! Massive for Nelson Slam. He sends it to Drago. Not yet to Infinity Six. Almost didn't do it, not yet. Drago now up the middle, elbow lands. What a high angle elbow drop. One, two, no. Stumps now. And again. Big right hand. Drago now with Eddie. Oh, top trap backbreaker. One, two, he's not got it. Looking for the arm though, Eddie fights back, nice elbow. Right on the jaw, Eddie, DVD, got it. Definitely Drago hooks the leg high. Is Eddie in the infinity? No, he's not. Not yet. Two count. Kick from Eddie. Eddie thinking crash landing. Gets it. Middle of the ring. But a bit smaller. And only position this too. And enough time for Drago to get the shoulder up. Eddie again with the right. Oh, huge forearm just dropped Drago. And a headbutt sends Drago down. Drago in trouble, Eddie. Now goes to the eyes. And if he had Victor again, the first suplex. Nice show of strength. One, two, he's not got it. Two and a half. Very close. 
for the scam artist. Eddie now off the top. No! Splash Turner with knees. Drago hooks him, whips him in, there's the Iron Curtain from out of nowhere. Iron Curtain from out of nowhere sends Victor Drago into Infinity Six and Endgame. Just like that, it's over. From out of nowhere, an Iron Curtain lands, and it is Curtains for Eddie here on Aftershock Birdie. Physical opening contest. So back and forth, there was the X flex. Monaghan a bit out of position, making sure the shoulders were down. You couldn't see the second shoulder down. Cut down eventually on the two. There was the reverse suplex. I thought Eddie was put out of there. As you can see Drago able to get the shoulder up, but we'll show you the ending right now. Eddie goes high risk, looking for a splash, Drago knees up, and that gave Drago the opening of balls. Iron Curtain, bang! Monaghan, perfect, one, two, gone. Think to Drago, your winner. Your winner of this contest. Victor Drago! Victor Drago books in the spot at Endgame and my god is that show getting loaded for Soldier Field. Victor Drago the fifth man within Infinity 6 and into a field of Rampage Jackson, Rio Hasuki, Raimundo, Pena, Rosa and Blade. That's a deadly field which is taking shape. And uh, next Aftershock, a go home Aftershock to Endgame, Aftershock 31, we will complete the field. Man, oh man. Great way to open the night. Hell of a way to open our night here on Aftershock 30. And we've got a lot more yet to come here in a solo out of sound. You can see this crowd, it is hype. From top to bottom. And we are set for the next, oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're set for a grudge match here at Act Shop 30. And this one really by the orders of Rain, as the Tartak and Savage has one objective here tonight, and that's to hurt the Dragon of Dojima. We are set for our next fight here on Act Shop 30, as there is the Tartak and Savage himself. There is Baraka. Except for our next fight of the evening. This one is going to be a physical war. I said it back to the Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest here on Aftershock is a ball football. Introducing first, fighting out of our world. He is the Tartakan Savage. This is Baraka. Let's be honest, Baraka here has only one job. And that is to hurt. That's Baraka's orders from Rain. Nothing, nothing else really needs to be said. And Baraka could hurt Kazuma Kiri. Very badly here tonight. That's the goal for Baraka, hurt Kazuma Kiri. And Baraka is set for war. This will not be for the fate of her. You've got two fighters, two monsters, in our next fight of the evening here on Aftershock episode 30. Baraka and Kiru set to go. In what should be a hell, hellacious fight. Baraka set to go. And we know where he's upon him. Oh yeah! The wrecker in the ring! Here! Comes the Dragon of Dojima! And the crowd has picked it up here in the asylum! For the Dragon! Back to Jim McDaniels! Here's opponent! Fight! 
are coming to Joe Japan. This is the Dragon of Dojima, Kazuma Kiru. As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, Kazuma Kiru is on long, is set to take on Rain upcoming at Endgame. They will meet at a no holds barred wall. And you can hear this groan of Kazuma Kiru. Oh, there it goes. And you can hear the ovation for Kazuma Kiru. Definitely in the asylum. Absolutely deafening, and this is going to be a war. Kiru and Baraka to continue after shot at the sword burning. Kiru and Baraka, this is going to be a war. What an ovation for the Dragon of Dojima. And we are underway. Here we go. Oh, body shot. Right hand to the head. Let's kick from Kiru. Oh, these two are just striking immediately. Oh! And Baraka able to just power Kiru down with a clubbing shot. Double axe handle right to the back. Oh, Kiru switches and kicks the knee. Body shot. Forearm, Dez Baraka. Uh oh. Oh, we see Kiru do this for four. He is looking to kill the Tartakun. Look out here! Up the apron with the pile driver! Christ! A Baraka is straight up! So Kiru tosses him again on the floor! Oh! Three. Yep, this is the physical wall we expected from the word go! Up the steps though goes Baraka! On a hand with a 10 count. Right back into the ring. Oh, stomp right to the back. Oh, coming shot to the back again. Kiri went for a boot. Barack right out the way. Close line to the back of the head. This so far is exactly the type of actually expected. And Barack a deep snap more. Sends Kiri back in the hard way. Dizzy and Kiri. Oh, nice on the hook throw. And now a headbutt. Baraka will use that hard head to his advantage. Cover heel, not even a one count. Kiru also has a hard head as well. Another headbutt though from Baraka. By every atmosphere here in the Assam, Kiru with another kick right to Baraka's leg. Gets around him. Baraka up and an atomic drop. And out the ring goes Baraka and he's going to take a minute. Kiru now just waiting on Baraka to get in the ring. Baraka up on the apron. Straight in. Kiru meets him with a right hand. Right hand bird from Baraka. Oh, nice knee. Well placed knee. And now just kicking Kiru down. Pulling shot right to the back though. And Baraka sent Vixus off the turnbuckle goes Kiru. Good God, what a knife edge. What a knife edge chop and now another headbutt. Baraka now with Kiru hooking him. Side backbreaker. Holds on. Great show of strength. And hits it twice. No wound on the ribs. On the back. Rakano sends Kiru for the ride. And a bad body drop planning Kasuma Kiru. Kiru in trouble as Rakano. Power! Oh, suplex toss! 
Down goes the Dragon, ring positioning, poor on Baraka's part. Pink knee to the face. And now he's got Kiru hooked here. Maybe a Samoan drop. Oh, no, right across the top rope. One, two, two count. I'm just dropping him off the top rope. Baraka now looking Kiru up. Uh oh! First DDT there from the Dragon of Dojima. Off the ropes. Oh my god, what a boot! Oh, two in a row! And Baraka's on the retreat. Two heavy big boots in a row. Uh oh, look out. No! Backdrop on the apron. Backdrop suplex right there onto the apron. And that had to jam Baraka's back. Kiru behind Tiger suplex. He's got the, he's got the waist lock bridge. There's two. High angle bridge on the two. Baraka able to kick out. Big shot again there from Kiru. Oh my, doesn't even leave his feet on the German. That is so unfair. Baraka planted, right in the back, there's the snap dragon suplex, one, two, he's not got him. Jeez, oh that was it, uh oh, kind of, oh my god, there's the close side from Baraka, heavy shot. That was a heavy close side, belly to belly overhead. Great belly to belly throw from Baraka. Oh, sag back breaking on. And now Kiru in trouble as Baraka sends him into the corner. Corner, the corner. Baraka off the ropes. Bulldog! Unique offense, but effective. One, two of the Bulldog, only two and a half. Just another two and again with the headbutt. Kiru in trouble, Baraka hits a knee, big clubbing shot, Baraka, no, oh, back drop rock bottom, now from the middle, this drop lands, drives the fist right into the face, one, two, he's got two, Baraka in a bit of shot that that didn't get the job done, but Kiru showing his heart. Kiru kind of sat shot, clubbing blow from Kiru. Oh my god, what a knee strike! What a knee lift, just dropped Baraka. Irish whip now, Baraka in trouble. Kiru, back body drops him. Kiru now firing up. You can sense some momentum has turned in this boat. Looks Baraka dumps him down. Beautiful move like the modified net breaker. Top rope here for the dragon. Frog splash. Beautiful frog splash for one, two. No. Two count only. What a fight. Oh, the racket kind of score arm. Now clubbing elbows right to the spot, God! And down goes Kiru in a heap. You can see how I thought we are here. Head slice a lariat! From out of nowhere! He got him flush as well. One, two, and three, go! Two and a half and it was close. Might be thinking that pincer driver. Then another side back breaker, that was flush. Then on the back, belly to belly overhead. And the Dragon of Dodge was in trouble. Here we go, it might be that pincer drive for that hurry crash. Could he hook it? No, he can't. Q sidesteps, coming shot right to the spine. Kiru now with Baraka. Oh, shoulder switch power bomb. Baraka 
in the ropes, luckily for him. Huge shot of switch power bomb. Blackridge, oh my god! That boot may have knocked him out. Oh, it's behind him, does the German! We may have a dragon thinker on deck! What a bat! Of that Dragon Maker Warrior, those two, it is over. What a fight! A fight, though, that the Dragon of Dodgem and Kasuma Kiyu wins. One hell of a fight! Goodness gracious, what a fight! Give it up! That was a fight! Kasuna Kiri, your winner. There was a head slice. I thought that would do it for Baraka, but Kiri showed his heart. It's a corner of test for Kasuna Kiri showing. I show the end and watch this boot. Bang! Turns Baraka inside out and kicked him that out. He almost took his face off. And then from the game set of match, German suplex. Dragon Maker Wario turns Baraka inside out again. And that will be to AJ Monaghan crying in a one, two, three. What a fight. Back to Jim. Your winner of this contest, the Dragon of Dolchima, Kazuma, Kiru. I will definitely say Baraka got his legs in on Kiru. But Kiru comes out victorious. And he's ready for the Prince of Deception upcoming at Endgame in what is going to be a brutal no holds barred war. Kasuna Kiryu, your winner, here on Aftershock Burning. This is so far turning to be one hell of a night. Big win for the Dragon. Gets the job done here on Aftershock Burning. You can hear this atmosphere. Definitely. Right on its feet, Jeffin in atmosphere. And we are gonna keep it going. We are set, ladies and gentlemen, to keep it going here tonight. Woo-hoo-hoo! What a night here at Aftershock Purdy and uh oh boy. Uh, we may be about to have an explosion here backstage. Wow. Jesus Christ, you can feel the intensity. I think we've got another boat for Endgame signed. Nico Bellic, Frank Castle. Two of the most vicious car wrestling legends ever. At Endgame? Holy shit. Well, that's what you call stacking the card. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on deck next. We've got to keep this night rolling. We have our next boat on deck. And folks, 
It's time for a Beltrix grudge match. This one all revolving around the current Valkyrie title picture. As we are joined by the daughter of the Shredder. Who's out for some revenge after causing chaos last episode of Aftershock. We all saw what Karai did. And well... Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest here on Aftershock 30 is a Bellatrix Grudge Match set for one fall. Introducing first, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, this is Karai. Karai, as we know, attacked uh, Neapolitan, putting herself front of the line for the next shot of the Valkyrie title. That episode, though, Neil had defended the title successfully against Dollface, and Dollface then attacked Karai. So it seems like we've got a collision on deck. Currently signing this Neo versus Karai upcoming at Endgame for the Valkyrie title. And you have to think if Dolphys wins here tonight, we're looking at a three-way dance for the belt. And speaking of which, we hear personal Jesus across the, across the house, mics. And oh, no, it's the maniac from the asylum. This ain't going to be pretty as well. What a physical war you're about to get one. Back to Jim McDaniel. Her opponent fights out of the asylum. This is Dolphin. I mean, I think she fucking lives in this asylum. She lives in asylums all over the world. She's a sadist, this Dolphin. But she is chaos and body mountain. That match sticked into her face constantly in pain. A former TCW Asterix Women's Champion. Someone who's looking to get her long-term core career back on track. This woman has shared the ring with some of the best of all time. I.e. many people consider the goal in Daddy Gibbons. She's took to the winner. And now here in her new home of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, she looks to make a huge impact. And she's psychotic. Look at kick in the turnbuckle. This. This is going to be a war. Karai. Dollface. One on one. Here on Aftershock 30. We are underway. Oh and they are immediately going. Here we go. This ain't going to be clean. This is going to be a fight. Kawada kicks and Karai right to the face of Dollface. Underneath and oh, Karai quick, too quick for Dollface at the moment. Kicks her right down in the mat. Takes Dollface away from those ropes. Double stomp. And then another kick. So if I total control to Karai, nice snap suplex. Taking Dollface over. Off the ropes. And oh, went rolling Capo, barely caught Dollface with it. Oh, Dollface able to block forearm shot from Dollface. And for another forearm, Karai out the way. Kick to the gut from Karai. Head kick lands, Dollface goes down. Another double stomp. So far, Karai keeping control of this contest. Into the corner goes Dollface. Nice side kick. And now Karai springs Dollface out. Hat spring ends he. Beautifully done. Springs out with the NC. One, two, and two. Two count. Two count only. Oh, big forearm. Scoop and a slam. Uh oh. Oh, shoulder block. Oh, and a big shot right there. And now... Oh! Bat breaker, and now the bat breaker stretch. Oh, it's kick right to the... Stomp right to the back. Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt from Dolphins using that mask. Jesus Christ. That's just pain right there. 
And Goldfish now with a big scoop and a slam. Goldfish off the top. Oh, diving headbutt right on the shoulder. Cover off the diving headbutt. There's two. Not enough. Just the two count there for Goldface in this Bellatrix grudge match. Karai with a forearm, well placed. There's the kick. Karai springs shots. Oh, side kick. Goldface to the floor. Karai. Oh, Meteora. Cotto with the knees. Ian Monaghan now with a count. He's got a 10 count to work with his AJ. Karai wants Dollface up though. Well done, Terrell O'Press from Karai, it was perfect. Very nice. Beautiful done though from Karai, I can't argue against that, that was perfectly done. Dollface in a lot of trouble. Karai slingshot, forearm off the head. One, two, three, no, two. Right now, got the arm. Don't face Curtis with the right arm. Don't face slot close line, short arm close line. Dex Karai. Karai into the corner, don't face now. Look at the work. Oh, throat thrust. Right to the throat. Puts Karai in trouble. Perfect flex. Got one, got two, and only two. Corner again, forearm shot right to the back. Oh god, right to the eyes. Ow! That's what we call trouble. There's a kick. Oh, there's a single knee call breaker from Dolphins. One, two, she's not got her. Jeez Louise, only two. Dolphins now to the top. Top rope, Zenton splashes Kerner with knees. Big time Kerner there from Karai. Karai now rolling giving deep plant stone face. And now up goes stone face down with the Alabama slammer. In the corner. Karai has got no face in all sorts of trouble, just going to tangle her up, Christ! That hurts, I don't think no face has a clue where she's at. Karai going to take advantage of that, grabs all of no face, leg drops her over the middle rope, painful. Karai now to the top. Look at that moonsault! Perfectly hit moonsault press! One, two! And break no two count. Near fall for Karai. Oh, pushed off. Don't face with an open another front thrust to see him cry. Don't face behind a German suplex with the bridge. One, two, three, no, two count. Near falls. Oh. Perfectly yeah, and now Goldface with Karai. Oh, the villain of that! Belly to back, suplex off the top, gets two and no! Riffles are underway here. There's a good old shot, Karai counters with a buzzsaw head kick. Back right to the back of her head and Goldface very dazed and confused after that shot. Karai handspring back elbow perfectly hit. And now Karai lifts Goldface up. There's that signature brain buster. Not going for the finish though. No. Oh boy, could be that corner sweep end to go with buzzsaw. Bang! That'll do it. 
That should do it for Karaibago. Thanks to this set of one, two, three, go! Last second kick out for Goldface. It's Karaibago can know. Oh, here we go. Damn! Oh, God! That spinning fisherman suplex you see there, Justin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. She was looking at that. DDT. Goldface pushed right using her own momentum. Karai landed heavy as well and dazed. Goldface puts Karai. Oh, no. Ah! Takes her ear out of her chest. Takes her ear out of her chest. There's another single knee pole breaker. Maybe a chance for Dolphins to finish here. Picking Karai up. She's going to want to finish. She's going to take Karai's face up. Yes, she is. Karai in a lot of trouble. And now Dolphins. Look out. No, with a twisted eight second ride. Twisting death ride from Dollface, and it's a free coat. Oh boy! I think we have a Valkyrie title three way dance on Deck and Endgame. Twisting death ride brings Dollface the win here on Aftershock episode 30. This is a Right again between both Karai and Dollface. It is Dollface your winner here on Aftershock episode 30. So Karai with that spinning fisherman flex. This was a physical wall, but you see it again. Single knee pole breaker starts the beginning at the end. Then Dollface is like, let me knee your fucking face off. Bang! Knee right to the face, takes the right face clean off. And then Dollface is like, I need a finish. How about a twisted death ride? Good night! Big flush! AJ Rollerhand counts one, two, three. What a walk! Your winner of this contest, Goldface! It's really safe to say Goldface just hurt herself right later, ladies and gentlemen. Right back into the Valkyrie title picture. Folks, we've got to take our first commercial time out of the evening here at Aftershock 30. We will be right back with more Aftershock. Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines Bought myself all of my favorite things Your wrist, stop watching My neck is frozen Make big deposits My gloss is popping You like my hair She thinks she's bought it I see it, I like it I want it, I got it, yeah, I want it see in fights this is just like, so much of what we actually do the training every day getting up knowing oh I'm sore I don't want to train but still doing it and after training thinking I'm so glad I did it
you should respect everybody and you can learn from everybody. It's up to you to find out what it is. What, what can you learn from that guy? If you have that approach, I think your opp opportunities are endless. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial here on Aftershock 30. What a night it has been so far. We have just seen three physical contests. And folks, the physicality is only going to keep on getting ramped up here tonight. Folks, on deck next, we have a championship bout. Bellatrix, World Tag Team titles to be defended right here, right now on Aftershock episode 30. And here we go. We got a Bellatrix tag team title match to continue our night as we are joined by Hit Girl and Candy King, the challengers in Killer Candy, who won tag team turbo back at our solution to get the shot. Great ovation. A hit girl and Candy King. The video patient for Hit Girl and Candy King. Simple deafening here in the asylum. They get set to challenge the cold blooded killers, the CBK of Medusa Gorgon and Giganta. Bellatrix tag team title boat on deck. And listen to this crowd. And you see the challenges in the ring? No, we await the champions. Starting with this monstrous problem. This bad attitude herself on her way out. One half of the Bellatrix World Tag Team Champions. This is Giganta. And of course representing the cold Woody Killers. Giganta and Medusa ever since Dawn of Chaos have been on the roll as Belgian Tag Champs retaining the titles in Tag Team Chaos retaining the titles against the Tsunayuki and Cheetah they have been quite dominant as Belgian Tag Team Champions we need a brace God! That's right and tonight they look to add to it again I got to return again. Oh, uh, we here on this uh, on this white big warded aftershock about to crown two Belgian tag team champions. You no know, way, Gigantus tag team partner. Lights dim. Music hits of hollow bodies, signaling the cold, calculated, and evil leader. Of the cold blooded killers in the Goose of Gorgon. What a year it has been for the cold blooded killers, if we're being honest. You want to talk about recently turning it around and finishing 2021 strong? In FWA, there have been turmoil, as we know. But at the recent CP3 onslaught, you saw the cult would have killed for it all together to finally win and get the group back on track. Here in the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, you've seen the new beat CDK of Julian and Shigo adopted into the roles. But Medusa Gorgon and Giganta have proven to be worthy. As much as she may hate them, they'll take tag team champions. And you see Medusa ready for war with Giganta. Let's send it to Jim McDaniels for this Bellatrix tag team. Ladies and gentlemen, your next cup to steer it after Shock 30 is set for one fall. And it's for the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance Bellatrix 
Tag Team Championships. Introducing first the challengers, the team of Hit Girl and Candy Cane. Collectively together, they are known as Killer Candy. Their opponents are the current Worldwide Wrestling Alliance, Bellatrix Tag Team Champions of the World, the team of Medusa Gorgon and Giganta, the Cold Blooded Killers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's title fight time here on Aftershock episode 30. AJ Manahan taking the Bellatrix Tag Team titles of Medusa and Giganta. I'm raising them up in the air. That is what is on the line on this edition of Aftershock. Bellatrix Tag Team titles on the line. It's going to be Candy Cane and Giganta to start us. In this Tag Team title match to continue Aftershock. Big right hand from Candy Cane and another right hand to Giganta. Giganta kicks the leg. Bellatrix World Tag Team titles underway and at the moment this is a fist fight. And Candy Cane getting the better of it. She's one of the more experienced striker I would say in Brawler. And dropping an elbow on a Giganta. The Giganta use your power. Don't get into a fist fight with Candy Cane. That's what Candy Cane wants. Use your power. Candy Cane punching away. God. And then she's going to stop the butt all a Giganta. Good start here for the challengers. Stomping right down. Giganta fights back. Big forearm. Snapmer sends Candy Cane over off the ropes, boot to the face! And that changes momentum, and now here we go! Elbow drop lands! Holds it, one! Just the one, bit of a, a very arrogant cover there from Giganta. So only, of course, going to get one off that. Now here comes the power vertical suplex, yes! Vertical suplex lands flush. Candy Cane now sent off the ropes. Big back elbow. Oh, big right hand there from Giganta. Look at go behind Candy Cane. Candy Cane kicks the leg out. Side Russian leg sweep. Punch Giganta. Looking Giganta back to her feet. In the corner. Into the kill Candy Corner. That's a nice right hand. Now ain't this a mismatch of size. In comes Hit Girl. We're going to send Giganta off the wall, she's the wrong one, get on the back body, drop it down. Now this is one of the mismatches of this century. The tallest member of the Bellatrix roster gets the shortest member of the Bellatrix roster. Nice drop kick to the back and I think Hit Girl knows she's going to have to get her time here. That's going to be her main chance here against Giganta. Springboard, drop kick lands, turning Giganta inside out. Hit Girl floats her over, cover one, two, two. Two count only there for Hit Girl. Hit Girl again going up top. Hit Girl knows she has to keep on going aerial here. To keep Giganta down. Look out for Medusa. Go oh, on, oh! Didn't see her. And Medusa gives Giganta the opening. Oh my god! From the highs of highs to the lowest of lows. Oh god, here we go. That's what I feared, the power! Power slap from Giganta, running power slam. Hit girl, look good for her, she was in the ropes. Oh, knee right in the back. A knee right in the back and then hit girl into the corner, tag team with Lucy Gorgon. Hope the kill's gonna work together. Double flatjack planting Hit Girl straight down on the face. One, two, two count. The Bruce Gargan on now will go knee drop right across the chest. And again with a second knee. Leg drop though. Bit of an arrogant cover. One, two. Yeah, ne never gonna get it. Didn't hook the leg or anything. I think the Bruce Gargon just really walking her way down. Hit girl here. Hit girl corners. Nice. Go oh, into a gut buster. Very nice. Modified back suplex into a gut buster. There's a jawbreaker. Douglas Medusa. 
simple but effective offense there from Ingo. Home kick! Big home kick lands on the jaw of Medusa Gorgon. There's two and only two. Near fall. I was with now and now Medusa in the corner, tag to Candy King. Holding now. Oh, and kicking her right in the gut. Big right hand. And Candy King now dropping another boot right down there on Medusa Gorgon. Candy King now, oh look out. Jeez, scoop of the slam. I was right, Medusa in the corner. Candy King lifts her up. Right hand. Candy King now with Medusa Gorgon. Most overused movie all called wrestling. There's a superplex. Lance Medusa, we got the Beltrix 10 champs right here. There's two. No, we don't. Medusa are able to get the shot up, high kick to the back, Gorgon with stun it. Oh, front thrust! And two! That base Candy King, nice covered shot though from Medusa. You know on the apron, what is this? Oh, knees right to the shoulder! Teared off with the new strikes. And then a sadistic like Banshee screech. See that one from Medusa. This drop off the top rope right to the face. One, two, and no, not and still. Just the two count. Candy Candy able to roll that right shoulder up. Candy Candy now going to be sent in on the wrong side of town. There's a tag to Giganta. Oh, go right into the turnbuckles. And Candy Kane now in big trouble. Power here, Giganta, maybe the military press slam. Yeah, right down on the chest. I'm gonna roll it over those Giganta. One, two, three, no, two. Two count there for Giganta. Giganta now looking to put Candy Kane. Right out of the middle turnbuckle. Right out of that top turnbuckle. Hip attack, good God. There's the power offense. One, two, and hit girl saves the match. They caught Monaghan, so Monaghan down. Big right hand move from Candy King. Dace Giganta. Another shot from the Candy King. Candy Cane now, look at the power of Candy Cane able to win Giganta for the snake eyes! This Giganta, oh my god, here we go, power driver! Power driver spikes Giganta and she is dazed! Tagging a hit girl now who comes in, kick right to Giganta's ribs! Hit girl will be his momentum again. Giganta got spiked on the round of the power driver now Tornado DDT. Coming for the challenges one and Medusa Gorgon is straining. Hit girl not liking that, he's gonna scoop and a slam on Medusa Gorgon taking her down. Medusa to the floor. Oh, give Giganta an opening for that four round, oh my god. Look out, World's Highest Snake Eyes! Down goes Hickel now. Giganta realizing her partner's down. He's going to weave in the skull with the deadly suplex in on a candy cane. That was smart from Giganta. Think on your feet. Hickel able to counter. Hickel right hand. Hickel's going to hit the bullseye, baby! There it is! One! No, not new chance. Giganta barely lifts the shoulder up. Oh, forearm. Oh my god, what a right hand. Just decked hit girl with that right. 
Giganteno, Vicky Powerbomb. Oh dear God. Oh wait a minute, Giganteno. Powerbomb to the floor. And Hiko and Splat. This may be the beginning of the end here for the CBK. Go home, driver. One, and Candy Kane had to save the match. She had to save the match, otherwise it was over. Candy Kane doing more than saving the match. Four having Giganta right in the chin. This is Giganta. Uh, oh, look at Giganta, she's still angry with Candy Kane and again. Giganta's angry again, the better of her. It's giving Hickle an opening. Hickle takes advantage, close and runner. Poison Rider checks for the challengers. Candy came back in with a kick. And now a gigantic power driver again got it. Power driver spiking Giganta right on the head. And there's a clothesline. Candy came now. She's looking for that candy cutter. Candy cutter blocked. Giganta all coming shot. Snap her. And a boot to Candy Kane sends her down. Hicko knocked off the apron. Giganta now looking to finish maybe here with Medusa. Shoulder block right to the ribs. I think, it, I think, wait a minute, what the hell is Snake got kind of giant swing? Great show of strength. Oh my god! Giant swing into a well placed missile drop kick from Medusa to the side of the back of the head. Candy Kid looks out on her feet. Medusa's lining her up. That's a strike. That's a cold bloody magic killer. The girl is off the apron. I think Candy Kid is going nowhere. CBMK equals title defense for the CBK very impressive you may not like them but you've got to be impressed Medusa Gold got a gigant to retain the Beltrix tag team titles an impressive fashion Hill Candy brought it they brought fire but in the end CDMK get the job done. First that beautiful hook kick. Early in the match, I thought Hitgill had it there, but no. Big time top rope vertical suplex. But there was quite a lot to take in. That should have finished. Look at this. Giant swing. What what's the drop kick? Bang! Such a sudden and brutal stop. And then from the at least she knew that candy came maybe out on her feet. It's like let's finish it. Of course candy came and done with a CBMK. Full bloody magic killer. Don't think candy came down off the end and went. Hit go for the one, two, three. Very impressive. Your winners of this contest and still Worldwide Wrestling Alliance Bellatrix Tag Team Champions Medusa Gorgon and Giganta The Cold Bloody Killers They are dominant as Bellatrix Tag Team Champions whether you love or hate them Medusa Gorgon and Giganta are currently that damn good with your Bellatrix Tag Champs They retain the belt still on after shot burning Very impressive from the CBK again. And folks, this night is just going to keep on rolling. We've got a preview up next, ladies and gentlemen, of the upcoming World Tag Team title men's boat. At Endgame, we've got singles action between the challenger team of the Lagoon Company and the champion team of the Shed 
As the two technical experts go at it, and next step to shock, the powerhouses will go at it. Yes, folks, we've got singles action on deck next, here on Aftershock Thirty. And the crowd comes alive as soon as they hear that gunshot. This should be a very interesting singles fight. A preview of the upcoming World Tag Team title match in Endgame. And we are joined by one half of the Lagoon Company. Set for your next contest. Here on Aftershock 30. Back to Jim McDaniels. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest here on Aftershock episode 30 is the ball one ball. Introducing first, fighting on a run of ball Thailand, this is Benny. Great ovation for Benny. Benny and Dutch are doing company world challenge for the Worldwide Wrestling Knights World Tag Team titles upcoming at Endgame. They will take on Double D and Big Ed at the Shed. It looks to be one hell of a tag team title run. You can hear the ovation for Benny. This should be an interesting night though. As he takes on the technical expert of the shed and one half of the current world tag team champions of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance. And the crowd picks it up again. Here comes one half of the tag champs. It's already in the run and door. It's Double D looking to get the shed. A five five hundred in the night, you would say. It's going to be one half of the world tag team chances we see. His opponent making his way to ringside. Facts are the peach creek on this one half of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Tag Team Champions. Representing the shed, this is Double D. Great ovation for Double D. Both men gain great ovations from the Aftershock faithful and the Asylum faithful. This should be a very interesting technical encounter. Great ovation for Double D. Great ovation for Benny. What about this should be? We're going to get it on right here right now. Hear that crowd, crowd popping. But we'll be set for this big time, big time, big time single spot. Good ovation for Double D. And this should be a hell of a contest right here next. Benny, Double D. Singles action. Here on Aftershock 30 is on the way. Connor will tie up. Benny dives down on the arm. And now he gets around the back of Double D and hooks him in the hammock. Coming shot to the back from Benny. Double D able to counter. Pujua armbar. And a stomp right, a knee right to the arm. Benny able to roll out. Hard knife for chop is blocked. Forearm shot from Double D. Hard knife for chop. Body shot. Oh, over the ropes. Double D holds on. Oh, Double D, nice covered shot. Double D, knee strike counter. Shot to the back from Benny. Hard knife for chop onto Double D. Springboard. Oh, into a bat breaker. And that gives Benny early control to start bat breaker. Knee straight right to Double D's face. And now Benny, Olympic slam! Very nice. Benny now looking to keep the advantage. Double underhook, butterfly suplex. Drilling Double D into the mat. AJ Monaghan right there, does two. Two count. Two count only. Benny with a kick right to the back of Double D. And another kick to the back. Oh, nice knee. Knee drop right to the face. One, two, two again. 
But will he show in his heart and resiliency able to kick out again? One four four round Karnan, super kick from from Double Day. Nice jumping knee strike lands on Benny. Benny dazed and sent to the apron. Big four round shot there from Double D. Sends Benny to the floor. Benny in trouble, Double D looking to fly! Massive! Springboard cross body plant to the floor! Right hands now from Double D. Oh, Benny is against the barricade, down goes Benny. Big order from Double D, who has took in control. Now into the ropes. Oh, elbow back to the jaw. Near Monaghan on the count, he is right there on the count. Crossbody block. Crossbody block once, one, two, two. Okay. Nice for first Eden team. Irish wit. Benny off the ropes. Double D rolls through net breaker, swinging style, perfectly it. One, two, two count. And now an oh! Goddamn complete shot. Oh, it just jumps into him. Oh, big forearm. And another forearm. Oh, big shot though. Big drop kick. Oh, and a knee right on the jaw. Jumping knee from Benny. Caught double knee right on the jaw. Dropped him just the two. Dropped him heavy. It was right on the button. Benny now to the middle. Elbow drop right across the throat of double D. One, two, two go. Uh oh. Benny now with Double D. Side back breaker. And now Benny from the back breaker into a lion tamer. That is smart wrestling right there. Going for the back, back and forth. Oh, look okay. out. Nice. Nice drop kick there from Double D. Double D was able to roll it and then hit a very nice drop kick. Oh! And just the one that time. Knee drop from Double D lands on Benny. Oh, and a nice standing mood salt. Double D now maybe lining Benny up here. Maybe another standing mood salt. Two in a row. Double D showing that athleticism. Double D now to the ring apron and he rolls his way in. Off the helo. There's two. Two count only. Very nice back and forth so far. Stomp right to the arm and now double nitty. Knee in the back and he's just going to apply pressure to Benny here. Round the throat with like a modified single knee power clutch. Benny able to escape. Grabs hold of Double D. Falcon Arrow. Yes! High impact Falcon Arrow though for Benny. You know, thinking back from driver Bulldog from Double D stops that. Double D now wanting Benny up. 
Off the road scales, double D, suicide dive to the floor. Landed it perfectly. And that puts Benny in trouble. Double D now with the standing slice spread. It's got the legs up, one, two, three, go. Just a two count. Look out, it's got Benny, small package driver. One, two, no. From the middle, Phoenix, no, nobody home. Benny out the way. Benny now positions double D in. Oh, on the hook into a bat breaker, beautifully done. Kick right to the goal. First the bat, now the guts. And now Benny off that eye, in fact, offense. Suplex net breaker. One, two, no. Oh, big forearm. Oh, and then right down on the jaw. Double D after the decapitator now with Benny. Buckle bomb, yes! Big time buckle bomb, Benny just collapses. Double D may now be thinking another springboard knee strike. Gets it on the bottom. Two up the knee and almost a three. Benny now in trouble as Double D hooks him up. Hamelot maybe he'll confirm like a Hamelot Lariat. Benny reverses with the back elbow. Big right hand, Dace Double D. Benny behind Double D, what the hell? Oh my God! Torture rank backbreaker. And again in the back, this time with an Irish curse style backbreaker. Twice to the back, there's a kick to the goal. Benny now with double D. Ah, oh, just plaxing. One, two, got him. Beautiful offense. And it's Benny who knocks off double D here on Aftershock. Highly technical though. Ends with a win for the Lagoon Company. Very highly technical bug. Then he gets it done though. In a very highly impressive technical bug. You can hear the throw. Benny can it from here tonight. Over a game that will be us through the ending. Back! Contract backbreaker. But Benny will follow up. Another backbreaker right here. The Irish Cross style one. And this is it. Kick to the door. And Benny will hook Double D up. And plan him down. Fisher and Smitty Dawkins driver and up for Benny to get the job done. An impressive fashion. Hell of a boat. The winner of this contest, Benny! Benny knocks up Double D in a very hard pace, hard fought technical classic. Big win for Benny, who will do something, have momentum on their side. Momentum goes to the side of the Lagoon Company heading in to end game.
No, no, we do have Dutch and Big Ed set to meet in the future, ladies and gentlemen. And that will be most interesting. They're set to meet on Ignition next week as the main event of that entire show. Oh, wait a minute, we got a confrontation backstage here. That's Eddie, I think you want to pull out to me. So Paul Phoenix just hit him with a right hand. We got a fight. <laughs> Paul Phoenix is true up next. He's set to team with Arsenal against Ratchet and a partner of Ratchet's choosing. But Paul getting into it with Eddie. I don't know what this is about, but we've got a fight backstage. Eddie, who's already completed here tonight. They're getting into it with Paul, and Paul taking advantage of a man who's already wrestled. Oh, this is typical Paul. Off the wall. Oh, God, right through the door. Oh, man, the garbage can across the chest. Paul though having himself with a steel chair right across the arm and the chest. And then the back. Give me a break. Oh this shit's ridiculous. I've got to be blunt, this is ridiculous. Paul now with Eddie, oh no. Oh no, oh my god! Right through the table, unbelievable. Let's get some help back there for Eddie. Uh, pursue Paul's on his way out. God, God fucking damn it. Yeah, well, well we know Big Ed and Dutch is set to take place, so... So it won't be on Ignition or Aftershock. It'll actually be on a feed of you worldwide, which will be, in a sense, the kickoff to Endgame Week, that final preview. So make sure you join the feed of the U channel for that special preview, and now we hear Paul's music. Unbelievable. And the booze come deservedly from the top row considering what this prick just did. Folks, we're set to continue after the shot with a tag team grudge man. Let's go back to Jim and Dallas because I'm disgusted with this. Ladies and gentlemen, after shot Bernie Knight continues with the special attraction tag team contest set for one ball. Introducing first. He is the blazing brawler. This is Paul Phoenix. And the worst part is, you know that this absolute cunt is proud of what he just did. Paul Phoenix now set the tag team match and sets the team of his main buddy here in the World Wide Wrestling. We are up course on about Paul Wrestling's outlaw in Arsenal. Set to take on Ratchet and a partner of Ratchet's choice in this tag team match to continue up the shot burning. Remember who Ratchet went to to take these two on, to take these two jackasses on. Because let's be honest, that's what they are. And now we await Paul Phoenix's tag team partner. And the booze just get even wider here in the side. Well, here comes the self proclaimed car wrestling's true outlaw, who is not in a good mood after last aftershock, where he ran his mouth and he got fucking dropped. And well, at Endgame, it will be him and Ratchet one on one, but tonight, it's tag team warfare and we need a brace. Oh! Back to Jim. His tag team partner fights on a star city and he is Paul Wrestling Crew Outlaw. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arsenal. Think about this for this man. He's had a record breaking reign a speed on for a Holy Girl Champion. He now wants to win the world title here in the World Wide Wrestling. The problem is this one right here. Calling Speedy, calling Master, calling Roy Harper. His mouth gets him into so much shit, but he can cash it. That's the truth. You gotta respect him because he's a hell of a buyer. 
When you hate his smoking guns because he's the most disrespectful fuck you'll ever see in a pro wrestling ring. And while then gave it's a battle of him and Ratchet, in, in, two, in many people's opinion, two future world champions at Endgame. That's going to be a hell of an encounter, but right now, we are set for the next fight. And we are waiting to see who Ratchet chose as his tag team partner. Can you hear the music change and this crowd is on its feet? Get ready to brace yourselves for the ovation. There is the cue for Spider to a definite ovation. And we need a brace again. Oh! And now, the opponent, firstly, Fanny Gardner. The planet fell in. He is the true boss spider. This is Ratchet. Great ovation for Ratchet, simply getting as always from the asylum for the former two time Genesis champion. Top ovation for one of the most beloved members of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance roster. Ovation. The question is who the hell did Ratchet choose as his tag team partner for this tag team war? That's what we're about to find out right here, right now. Oh my god! Arsenal and Paul are in a lot of fucking trouble! Yeah, that, 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 that's who I'd want backing me up in a fight! How about the current world heavyweight champion of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance? There is! The Melbourne Colossus and current new! Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion. Oh! It is a Russian Central here in the asylum. Definitely ovation. For the Melbourne Colossus, he is Grey Madu. Oh! Christ! Back to Jim McDaniels! His tag team partner fights out of Melbourne, Australia and is the current reigning Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion the Melbourne Colossus Craig Marku! And as we know thanks to last week we all know what Endgame it will be Craig Madu, Spike Spiegel 2 for the World Heavyweight Championship of the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance at Endgame 2021. You've got to be there for that one right now. Maduke and Ratchet set to take on Paul and Arsenal. Oh my God. Don't think this is what Arsenal and Paul had in mind, but <laughs> this is what they've got. We're on the way. Cornell will tie up Paul, grabbing a head or elbow right to the back of the neck of Ratchet. Ratchet now going to push Paul off the ropes. Duck underneath. Monaghan gets caught by Paul by accident. Ratchet rolling. Oh! Over a kick does not knock Paul off his feet. Drunk into the knee. Keep Paul keeps on his feet. Oh, chop is blocked. Oh, throat thrust. Dex Ratchet. And a headbutt. Paul now hits an elbow drop. Oh, front bus counting, knee strike from Ratchet. Ratchet scooping a slam down, does Paul. Off the run, sliding leg drop. A hard night for shot there from Ratchet and the second. Paul in trouble, Paul able to counter. 
Runs it, Hansby, keep off corner early! One, two! Oh, and the ropes were the only thing that saved Paul Phoenix, you could say. The ropes may have been the only thing that saved Paul Phoenix right there. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. And Paul Trick decking Ratchet right there. Off the ropes. Big right hand! Oh, man, shot to the back. Oh! Tag to Arsenal. Arsenal now in and Arsenal and Paul now go double team. Double back body drop. And there's an elbow there from Arsenal. Oh, a little drop kick keeping Ratchet going. And you have to think. Oh, Northern Lights. One, two, no. Oh. That man no headlock and a club and shot to the chest. Oh, and the team. Oh, elbow. Elbow. But you know, close line sends Arsenal down. Oh, heel kick. And you have to think Mad Duke wants to turn in on board considering Arsenal's been running this way back Craig. Oh, Paul with a cheap shot, giving Arsenal back advantage. Remember, Arsenal says he should be the next World Everweight Champion. That's something you have to think Craig who's worked hard and long for that belt, disagreed to have all entirely. Nice teardrop suplex. Right hand again. Bulldog sends Ratchet down face first. Arsenal, Regal Cotter. These are two men who will meet at endgame. Right now it's all Arsenal. Oh, elbow off the middle rope. Cover on Ratchet, one. Just the one, Craig, straight in. Paul, backdrop driver on a Craig. Nice show of strength. Paul and Craig, no, no measure of history against each other. We remember the hardcore war from last season. Across the top rope though girls that ratchet who Arsenal Paul to no credit have kept isolated. Tad back in a Paul and Noah foot shot. Right to the ribs and Paul. Oh drills ratchet head first. Ratchet just gets bloodied head first. One, two, no. Struck there from Arsenal and Craig. Oh, Craig is up and we again. This is breaking loose. Oh! Close line from Arsenal and so far. Arsenal and Paul's fight partner has been perfect. Close line sending Ratchet down. Hate to give Roy and uh, Paul credit, but the fight plan has been perfect. Short close line there from Paul. One, two, no. Ratchet gets the right shoulder up. One for the arm though is Paul. Ratchet down on the knee, body shot. Second body, third body shot. Drop kick knocks Paul down. And now Paul into the corner. Hard knife edge chop. Tag to Craig Maduk. Maduk, oh and goes right through the arm. Bye bye, good God. Oh, counter, forearm, oh, headbutt. Nice knee strike. Paul is dazed. Oh, Paul counters. Madu counters, counter for counter from both men. 
Now the man out of control. Oh, Polymer just took out the way. Shot to the back of Craig. Craig Kernis. Back over the world champ now. Maybe starting to get back in control here. Oh god, he can't pull Jamin's in over his head! And there's the power game difference. Jesus landslide from Craig Mandu. One! And Arsenal just breaks it up. Oh, and he's gonna pay. You know Craig has waited lay to lay in a row for ages. Oh my god! I'll see you later, Roy! But it gets Phoenix an opening to land a big shot. Maybe not. Craig out the way. No, so butt kick. Holy shit, look at the power. Paul oh, go! Go Buster! Big time go Buster though from Paul Phoenix. In the corner goes Craig Madu versus the tag. Arsenal that win. And these are two men who are destined to be in the future, you would say. Due to all the bad things said. Bulldog from Arsenal sending Craig down. Now going for Craig. Modified net breaker again. Smack quick offense there from Arsenal. Just the two. I didn't just able to power his way out. Showing that heart and strength. Arsenal off the top with an elbow. Landed the elbow flush to the chest. Just the two count. You can see Ratchet, you can see Paul. Oh, right hand to Maduk again, tag to Paul again. And now a double back body drop on a Craig Madu. Just rubbing his face across the canvas with an elbow. And right now you have to give Paul and Arsenal credit. Oh Craig able to slip through, just caught Paul right in the back. What the hell? Torture rack! No, oh, it was a power bomb! That was pure power right though! Which is something Craig Maduk has all the back elbows caught, caught him with a forearm though, which dazed Phoenix. Phoenix fights back. No Maduk's the one fighting back. Oh, he got him by the throat. Oh no. Oh my god, what a spy buster. A bye bye to Roy. Paul has not moved since that spine on the pine. Ranching now with a chance to finish. Heel kick sends Paul down. Maybe Swanton time. On a Paul. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Ranching changes motion and Swanton's on to Arsenal who is on the floor. Paul still in trouble. Quantum kick! Right off the top of Paul Phoenix's head with that quantum kick! That might be! Will it be? It is a knock on shot! Ratchet and Craig are with us! Jesus Christ, what a high risk! Quantum kick, which ends 
Night. It's just gonna keep on, keep on going here tonight. As folks on deck, next it's time for a first start of a double main event. And oh boy, this one's gonna have a bit of a personal stake for me, folks. We've got a no holds barred war on deck. Oh, here we go. This is going to be ugly, ugly, violent, vicious, all those in between. It is time for a no holds barred war here on Aftershock episode 30. And you can hear the asylum to its feet to welcome in Mr. Walking Death. He is the full survivor. He is cold. Name. Hunt. Let's send it back to Jim McDaniels for a first of a double main event. Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest here on After Shop 30. It's your semi final bet of the evening. And it's a special challenge. No more bad war. Set ball, one ball. Introducing first, fighting out of Raccoon City, he is walking dead. This is home. Tremendous ovation for home, who I personally hope beats the living fuck out of his opponent here tonight. We are in for a bloodbath to keep up the shot very rolling. Near the ovation for Hunk. After Shock Asylum, Toro and the Iron Mr. The Walking Dead. We made this challenge because the son of a bitch he is about to face brought the mercenary cold by a one breaking my fucking leg and two looking for that scumbag rat. It's time to pay the Reaper. This will not be pretty. And you know that now he thinks that he's sending Hunk for death, but I will never rule Hunk out. And while we're hearing music, and judging by the lighting, the lighting, I think the mercenary or son of a bitch. The son of a bitch who broke my leg, yeah there he is. He's on his way out for his aftershock debut. And debut within this company, the newest member of the syndication in Jack Broker. His opponent, representing the syndication and making his Worldwide Wrestling Alliance in ring debut, this is the mercenary, Jack Rosa. Money and power talks to this son of a bitch. We've worked with him in the past, back before the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance even opened its doors. There's a reason why I was happy Leon Kennedy put a bullet in this motherfucker. He is evil. He is evil. He is money and power and, and power hungry. And he is now his maybe most dangerous weapon. I found out for Sam this reason why he left right leg is still in a cast. We'll plug getting it off next week. But there is a reason why I'm still in a cast. 
Because of this game, the reason why I have to be on crutches. Because of this guy. And the things him and Hunger are about to do to each other might be unspeakable. Rebel War. We're on Aftershock episode 30. This will not be for the faint of heart. And I mean that truthfully. Let's get the odds. Right here, right now. We are underway. Oh, there's an elbow. You can see Hunk immediately taking Crozen out and kicking him right in the side. Oh. Oh, Crozen grabbing Hunk out of the throw. Oh, body shot. Hunk able to carry it out. Crozen all right through the ropes. Back in. Hunk doesn't see him. Close line. Oh, and there's a splash. One. Just the one. Oh, clubbing shot. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Hunk and exchange just as good as Crozer. Gets him in the reverse close line. Back out will work to the face and Crozer. It's one on the Nodi. Oh, nice sidekick. Decking Hunt. Remember, no DQ, no turn out. And Crozer with a complete shot. Bloody Hunt face first. One, two, two count. Remember, no disqualification, no turn out. Must be a winner in this no holds bar match. Crozer with a big shot. Hunt over the top to the floor. And the chaos is already in play here. Oh! God, right off the steel railing. Hit first goes, hunk off the rails. And now Crow's looking to do more damage. Sets him up, snake eyes on the steps. And we're seeing that ruthlessness from Jack. Hunk able to turn off big forearm. Another forearm drops Crows who loaded that one up. Oh, and into the first row. Oh, baby, here we go. Open cut from home. We're in the crowd. Into the bowels of the asylum we go. With this, no holds bad one. Well, they have to get back to the ring, but I don't think they can right now. Home breaking away in Crows' face. Put his face on the concrete and stop it, he's heading! I love to see it! Oh, off the production crate! Oh, and head first off the crate! Good! Do it again for all I care! Oh no! Oh, side back break from Crows and falls into those chairs! Oh, Jack got a forearm! TKO on the concrete. Crows are now picking up the steel chair. Old missed. Hunk out the way. Back elbow. There's a shot to Crows. Look out. Sit out. Powerbomb on the cement. Ow. This little back is going to be killing him. Ah, there's a bad drop driver. Jeez, this is a fight. You're in Nagino! Wait a minute, Hunk's on the production crate. Crows are his Oh, and just jumps off the production crate with both knees. This one proving to be a street like Crows and Conor's back elbow. Kick right to Hunk's ribs. It's got Hunk up. Oh no, not the garbage can. Oh my god! Powerbomb through the top of the trash can. 
Punk's body got bent in half and no press. Ah, power slam and his leg almost got broken by it. Cross and Alan with a steel chair across the ribs. And Hunk is in trouble. This one is turning as violent as we expected it to be. Hunk struggling to his feet. So to the viciousness of Crozer. Shot to the rim to the DDT out of the churn. I think Hunk underneath that visor might be busted wide open. Crozer now coming back to ringside. And grabbing the steel steps. Positioning them in ring. And now grabbing a 15 foot high ladder. And in that goes, Hunk's on his way back. I don't know if Jack has realised that Hunk is on his way back. Oh, Cross has got a ball out. Hunk is in though! Big ball out, and I believe that just ripped Crow. Yeah, that busted Crow's wide open. Drove that elbow right into Crozer's head. Oh, Cher shot avoided. Jack with his speed able to count off. Oh, Cher bounces off Hunt's head. Oh my god! Side old backdrop driver on the concrete. Crozer just showing that athleticism though. This guy's a freak, he's still got that plague virus in him. Makes him super strong and super quick and super deadly. Crossing out to the floor. Oh, drop kick. And right now, Hunk is in trouble. Out goes Hunk. Oh no. Oh my god, right off the right off the Transylvania announcing table. And Crossing now is gonna strip the table. Those poor fucking vampires seem to invoke Jack Crozer's wrath. Oh, rib first off the table goes Hunk. Crozer now with Hunk on the table. Look out here, look out. Look out, those poor fucking vampires. Oh my god, no. No! Oh my god! That was a tombstone power driver right through the table. That'll do it. That'll do it. Tombstone power driver right through the table. One, two, three. No! It won't. Hunk able to get a shoulder up only two. Closer can't believe it, but he only got two. Judgment slap, yes! Kick right to Hunk's arm. Oh, going right onto the arm again, though, is Crozer. Drop it right to the face. And so far for the majority of this contest, it's been all crows up. Hulk gave it a kind of nice DDT. Dazed crows a little bit. Hulk wants Jack up. Diving crossbody block to the floor. Hulk not known for being a high flyer, but lands huge right there. Oh no, Singapore King time! And you can see that it's Crozer now, the one in a bit of trouble. Just got the urn up tired of him. So no wonder if we're being honest. Oh my god! Kendall stick shot right to the back. Backdrop driver plants Crozer. One! Oh my god, just the one. You gotta be kidding me. That was only a one after the work hunt had just done. Oh, not really letting it deter him. Grabbing a hold of that ladder. Oh, oh god. Oh my god! Bouncing it off Crozer's face! 
You're a knock out of the edge of the lotto! Christ! And now a double up on a five suplex one! And again a one! You've got to be fucking kidding me! Go down some face buster! One! Two! That time he gets a two and only a two! This freak, known as Jack Crozer, is so tough! Oh, no, he's fighting back big right hand, almost dropped him to a knee! Oh, DDT! DDT though from Crozer, right hand! Hunk Stace, oh my god, Dragon Sleeper! Try to put Hunk to sleep here, standing Dragon Sleeper. Will this be it for Mr. Walking Death? Hunk able to fight out with the right hand, two rights, three rights able to break the grip. Crozer underneath, oh, caught Hunk with a rebound. Rebound Lariat, shot, caught, Hunk flush. Hunk able to land the forearm. Big shot right to the face of Crozer. Bad job driver. Just dumping Dark Jack on the back of his head. Back breaking over from Hunk. Crozer no position on that ladder. You have to think Hunk wants to do damage. Into the corner. Hunk no! Setting Crozer up! Oh no! Oh no! Butterfly suplex off the top out of the ladder! That may do it! Wait a minute, Hunk with Crozer! Oh no way! Oh my god, he's got him out! Ah! God! even be possible. Bio has a driver under the ladder is only two. Hulk was thinking T virus driver. Where's the cutter again? Right back into the dragon sleeper. Just trying to choke on guard right now. Hulk, oh Curser, just let it go. Let it go. I, I think Hulk might be out. Person no. Oh my god! Just platted him. Twisted intentions to cause that that spinning fisherman's brain, that spinning brain buster knows just intentions. Oh no, he's got the ladder set up. He's gonna return the favor for earlier in the match. Pump Billy up. Oh my god, and Randone! Randone with a ladder. This is not looking good here for Hulk. Net breaker from Crozer. And Crozer though, Hulk in a lot of trouble. Crozer, oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Plague is in! Plague your intent! One, two, three. Fuck! Person wins on his debut. The person playing here, power driver, wins Jack Crows in this match. God damn it! I thought that Bayer has a driver under the ladder and done it. The pros are powered out. And we'll proceed to go on to finish on. Here it is, the curse of Plague here. Watch this. What comes next? Jump! 
God! And I felt that. Horrible feeling. Jams your head, jams your neck. Might break your fucking neck if I'm lucky. And that is what Jack Crozer intended to do. Crozer, you fucking winner. Here. The winner picture. of this contest, the mercenary, Jack Crozer. God fucking damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna admit I'm pissed off. Jack Crozer, your winner here on Aftershock. Yeah, this crowd booing lonely. Not that big person of gives a shit. He's the winner. Here on Aftershock, Aftershock. He's not leaving ringside for the love of God. Crozer is not leaving ringside. He's bloodied it all. You've won the damn match. And now he's got a steel chair. Probably on us off Gnarly to finish the job. Look out here, Hunk's defense. Oh my God! Well, there's my brother of Crozer who's going to beat a retreat. There's a lot of long-term bad blood between my brother and Crozer from the mercenary days. Brother out here for the save. Let, 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 let's get some water for the break. Take us the break. Finally, you know. No! Why are we doing nothing? Oh, dude, oh, that's you, Kelly! Oh, what is that? Yeah, he's having got him, I think. Oh! Got him! Yes! Yeah! Folks, we're, we're, we're back here on Aftershock. We've had doctors to start hunk out to... Uh, uh, he's probably going to go to a local medical facility or backstage. Check it out. In. Folks, brother is still in the ring. And he's demanding a mic. Oh, God, he's fucking bouncing, you can see. Oh, boy, we're in for chaos right now. Listen, just cue him up. Get his mic live on some of brother. Jack, Gnarly, this shit gets fucking repetitive. And yeah, Jack, you retreated as soon as I came out here. You want to face me face to face. Same guy who did jumps with you in the past and hell, you were at one time left me for dead. But the past is the past, the future is the future, ain't it, motherfucker? And speaking of which, that future brings me to you, Gnarly. Crossfire, you pulled the wool on my brother. Dead to this night, you pulled the wool on me. Yeah. So in absolution, we pulled the wool on you. And last week, you got your brains beat out by Spike Spiegel. So, instead of pulling the wool over each other, let's talk business. 
end games are coming at the end of this month. And it's well known within the company right now that you own the majority stake with your 50%, thanks to the events of Crossfire. I own 40, Revy owns 10. And unfortunately, me and Revy ain't always going to be here to see over what mayhem and shit we have to fix that you cause. So I have a proposition. At Endgame, you put me in the middle of this fucking ring with that son of a bitch you just ran like a scolded dog picking his fights. You put me in the ring with fucking crows up. Oh my Let's god. Let's put a briefcase 15 to 20 feet up in the air. Inside that briefcase contains my 40% and Revy's 10% and another contract. Another contract that allows me, Revy, and my brother at that announce table, a combined 50% ownership. But with an added caveat. If I win that boat, your responsibilities within PWU as the speaker for WWE, considering you're the majority head, you're the one who's supposed to do all the board meetings now. <laughs> That goes to me. I get that right. And furthermore, and this one you can pass on to Kenshiro. And you can pass this on to DCA Man, you think you can pass this on to Kenshiro. Or hell, even any of you buddies that hate him. Within this calendar year, should I win and beat Kreutzer's ass, I get, within this calendar year, a chance to make any match I want against a member of the fucking board triple. Who I may choose, I have too many options. But if you win, you control it all. This will either be an end or the beginning. I'll see you at Endgame, motherfucker. Oh my fucking god. So that's what he meant by saying he was going all in. Jesus. I trust him with my fucking life. And he knows that he does the same for me. Folks, if that is accepted, that's even bigger than when I was involved in a crossfire. If that is accepted, that is the biggest match in WWE history. Full Metal Mayhem with a 50-50 split ownership which will include me again. A shot at a member of a blood trail within the year of 2022. And the right to be the PWU speaker against what the whole control finale. Oh my god, it will be an end of the or a beginning. Speaking of endings though, and that is a, that, that's a bombshell we just see. But speaking of endings, it's time for a second half of our double main event here on Aftershock 30. We're joined by the last night war of pro wrestling, a number one contender to the Worldwide Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Championship from Endgame. It's Spike Spiegel, who here tonight is in course for one hell of a fight. I send it back to Jim McDaniels. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Aftershock 3. Main event of the evening, and it's a special attraction from that. Simple Wumble. Introducing first. Fighting out of the planet Mars, he is called Wrestling's Blast of War. This is Spud Spiegel. What a name of that for your body. The number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship. All Wrestling's Blast of War. It's Spike Spiegel set to go. In what is a huge main event mode here tonight. And you can hear this ovation. And he's definitely Spike Spiegel sets to go the main event of the evening. Tonight, 
as he sets it on Mr. Ice Cold who makes the rapid shot burning near the bed. Big fight feel within the asylum. We are set for our main event of the evening. And here come the rules for the Saints. Um, Spike Spiegel will take on Craig Marduk. And as we all know at Endgame, this man coming to the ring right now will take on Horan in a number one contendership war. There is Mr. Iceball. Here is opponent, representing the syndication of fighting out of San Diego, California. He is Ice Cold, Isaac Cross. Isaac Cross on his way out to war. And this is exactly what we are in for. All out war for ladies and gentlemen. Isaac Cross versus Spike Spiegel. This, this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a fight, this is going to be a war. And we are set to go right here, right now. You can hear the loud boom. For ice cold. And it is good, as we are. We are set to go to war. Main event time here on Aftershock episode 30. It is Ice Cold Isaac Frost, Spike Spiegel, and we're already fighting. This, this is going to be a fight. Oh, it's this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Big close line, and oh, here we go. Elbows right to the head and uh, shots right to the thing. Oh, knee strike. Knee strike from Frost. Oh, but Frost charged in and Spike was well out of the way. Spike with a super kick. Doesn't even knock Frost off his feet, another one. Spike then kicking away. Frost goes down to his knees. Oh! Double super kick, kick again. And now roll burn from Spike using his craftiness. And right hand to now stomp right to the top. Oh! Jawbreaker. Spike back elbow sends Frost down. Spike has got to use his speed here. He's got to stick and move. Net breaker from Spike. That's what he has to do right now. That's the leg of Isaac. One, two, two pound on with Isaac and will easily power out in the end though. Spike now going to stay on Isaac Irish up again. Boot sends Isaac down. And so far Spike deciding this plan to a T. With constant offense here on Isaac Frost. Knee in the back trying to work Frost down. Isaac able to power out, slide out. Power out. Oh buddy, kick to the gut and there's a clubbing shot right to the back. Kick back to Spike again. And now Isaac showing his power. Oh, into the turnbuckles. Gone and down the spike. Look, okay, going back to driver. No, Bulldog. Spike now. Oh! Running knee strike. Hands to the side of the head. One, 
took. Oh, just a one that time. Just a one count. Spike now, maybe a vertical. Can he get Frost up? Yes, he can, and he plants him. Oh, no, Spike just taking the piss right there. Maybe trying to play a bit of mind games on that arrogant pin. Oh, went for another kick from maybe thinking super kick to the goal. Frost clocks him in the corner. And now here come the rights. This is what Spike needed to avoid. But he can't avoid everything with Isaac Adventure slap to the face. Okay, double leg, take down. And now a body shot, down the spike. Four arm off the jaw. Oh, Isaac him with a roll spike in. Back breaker. Oh, and just powers him down. And the momentum has turned. There's the T-Bone. T-Bone suplex third from Isaac. Only a two count in this main event. Oh, no, Spike out the back door. Rome Frost pushed him away. Frost now can't till the world DDT lands. Chop, knife edge, chop the but Spike, second event to the chest. And Spike is now going to make Isaac eat the turnbuckle. The seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down goes Isaac. Spike now, great shot, strike for the Northern Lights driver. Great shot of strength. To the top now, double stop. That enough for Spike, there's two, no it's not. Just two for Spike Spiegel right there. All right, and kind of we were coming for him. Oh, and there's another shot right to the back. He and now kicks and down the spike. Now he's looking from Frost. Oh, Lufet's press and now the big right hands. Three of them right to Spike's face. Isaac now with the power. Bat breaker. Looking to deliver a second. A roll. And now, oh, the running power slam gets Spike. Silver Spike was in the ropes. Going back and forth now. Spike able to send Frost stone. Well, guy, elbow miss. Oh my god, big shot, big clubbing shot. Just a club there. Oh, look out, look out. Look out. Ah, oh, the power bomb. One, two, and three. No, two only. Just the two count. Isaac can't really believe it. In a kind of a spike. I see no consistent spike on the top rope. Spike him with kicking off. Spike with a missile drop kick. That was flush. One, two, not enough. Two count off the missile drop kick though for Spike. Spike now behind Isaac. German note kind of back elbow. He put the shot there from Isaac. Isaac, oh, the backdrop rock bottom. Kind of slapping the face of me and the old family. 
a beauty of my brother right there. German, yes! Beautiful German, he's got it hot! It's not enough! And now Isaac with the power advantage. Press, slam and spike goes face first. This could be the beginning of the end here. Frost, Cobra clutch, cross face. Look at the chunk spike go. This is locked in tidy here on Spike. Can Spike fight out? He is doing elbows. I'm gonna find his way out, credit to Spike. Oh, he, made, oh, he undershot the super kick, pulling shot again. Spike down to a knee. Monaghan wants to check the match. Just make sure Spike can continue. Oh my god, what a boot! Ah, oh, there's the uppercut! First the boot, then the uppercut. One, two, three. Oh my god, Spike kicked out. Isaac can't believe it. Pump it down to ice picking. Here we go! Ice pick driver, yes! And that's the match. One, two, three. No, it's not! Spike Spiegel in the last second, get the shoulder up. So you've got to think Isaac will want a second. Won't get it! Spike in the corner, four round shot. Super kick to the gut. Then the head! Super kick lands for Spike. Good shot, bang! Good shot, bang! Flush up the draw for one, two, and three. No! Just a near fall for good shot, bang! Real fall, blue baby. First the kick to the leg. Real fall, blue off the head. Real folks blues! And oh my god, he kicked out again, did Isaac! And now it's Spike wondering what am I gonna do to win this? Spike now, oh! Missile drunk kick once again! Spike now with Isaac again, going back up top, maybe another missile jumping. No crossbody, oh my god, he got caught. What power from front, oh my god! And he just tosses Spike to the floor. Christ! Isaac now with a damage like Sneagle. Oh my god, on the rap with a power bomb! The rap is solid steel for fuck's sake. I know Isaac is gonna be thinking I've got this in the bag here. Time to OH! Pulling through the crowd with a steel jaw! Spike recovery on the other side of the ring. Oh, it just came through the audience and got back at Isaac. And here we go again. Oh, and getting his revenge. You could see it just cost Isaac this match. This match is there, no contest. I'll cross the winner of the DQ, I guess, if I wants to put it like that. But Horak is back and he's beating the shit out of Isaac. Well, you know what they say about paybacks? Paybacks are hell. Horak might beat Isaac's ass all the way on the asylum at this rate. Oh, vicious leg kick. And another. 
and then the cross the bro and on the way to the back. You know, we got Spike coming to in the ring. This crowd has gone wild, folks. We're, 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 I guess we're going to be signing up here off this. Oh my god! Oh, we're not signing off! We are not signing off on Aftershock just yet! Well, with us here, ladies and gentlemen! The number one contender to the world title is in the ring! And the world champ, I think, wants to come and face off of his number one contender! Oh my god, here we go! the World Heavyweight Champion! And you see Craig Marcus as you know the ball. Which is about to happen. Brace yourselves ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Listen to that ovation! The great man and Spike is right there! And you see my group win to win! <laughs> you see my group win the world title! These are a two minute end game that will meet over that world heavyweight title! Oh wait a minute! Craig looking to return the fan for Grill Smile! Jack Elba! And if that happens in that game, we will see this side right here. Craig Madrid, still world champion, standing over Spike Spiegel. Message sent. That's all the time we've got here on Aftershock. We'll see you next week.